James and their new field as they played host to Stratford. The winless Knights, somewhat of a favorable matchup, if you will, be done for the Sharks. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, Stratford has Carolina Force on the ropes last week. Certainly it, did. Sailor had to score late. And then they had to block that extra point or extra the field goal to, to get that win. So this isn't a slouch team that the Sharks play tonight. And I'm sure Tommy Norwood will tell us that. He will certainly, but Knights here trying to find some momentum, try to get out of, you know, being winless. St. James playing host, trying to start on the right foot. Wow, and I like their, their field is nice. It's really nice. First yeah. quarter action here. Jalen Berry takes the snap and he connects with Jaden Washington for an early Stratford touchdown. The Knights on the board. Pretty quickly there, the seven nothing lead. And we go now to following quarter here. Barry, handoff, Timothy Lloyd takes a hit. He gets into the end zone there. Knights up 14 nothing. It's licking and keeps on ticking, right? It certainly does. And, you know, missed tackles and things like that, those will kill you. St. James trying to make some momentum here. Keandre Haynes takes a quick handoff and takes it off to the end zone. So there's some, there's some positivity there for the Sharks. First touchdown on their new digs for the Sharks. that would be their only touchdown yeah. for the game. Knights come in and take this one. 35-10. Be done? Yep. Sharks fall to 3-3 three and three on the season. Open up region next week as they travel to the backyard to take on Conway. Uh, Sharks, you know, they've lost two in a row. I know last week was a disappointing uh, performance uh, for Tommy Norwood and his Sharks. I know they wanted to come in tonight on their new duds and play a little bit better. Obviously, that wasn't the case. And uh, speaking of Tommy Norwood, he joins us now live to kind of talk a little bit about tonight and kind of how the season's going. And I know, Coach, uh, you, you were disappointed. We talked just a few minutes ago um, about the performance tonight. But, you know, what was it about your team that really kind of upset you this evening in terms of um, just – trying to do what you needed to do to win the game, which obviously you weren't able to accomplish. Well, we got to be able to do some things nationally on both sides of football that we just haven't done in the last eight quarters. And some is control it on the ground, be able to run the things that we've done a good job of. It. We just got to tackle better and not give up the big, big touchdown. We hear the past few weeks, the 30 yard, 40 yard touchdown has been killed us. And we've got to end up playing better and, you know, we get ready to start region play, and Conway, with all those big threats they've got, we can't be doing some of those same mistakes. Tell me a little bit about Connor Schwamm and what he's meant to this program uh, coming on and just really taking a leadership role and, and really being a, a quality quarterback, probably someone um, of his talents that you haven't really had in the last couple of years. talent -wise. Well, Connor's been, Connor's been a great leader for us in our program, and he's, he's been that way for all of, even part of last year when he was simply a, a sophomore in our program, and I didn't play any quarterback or very little a year ago. And this spring and May football and then our summer football program, he, he's one that our kids have looked up to, and he's made some plays with his legs. So, you know, last week he was a little banged up, and, and I didn't play the whole game, and tonight, he just had a struggle a little bit, but that's going to happen sometimes. But I promise you this out of Connor. Monday, he's going to come to work, and he'll be a better player Monday when he leaves than he was when he started. Coach, you know, uh, it's been a difficult season for you in terms of the, just the way the facilities have gone. Uh, it took them a lot longer than expected to get the facilities done. You had to play five games on the road. Tonight, you were finally able to do so. The field looks phenomenal, by the way. What did it feel like being at home uh, on your own home turf, on that new turf, and just seeing the fruits of your labor, so to speak, and, and seeing that beautiful field? Well, I got nothing but compliments for Horry County Schools and the people who did our, our field. Our football field really does look great. Uh, there's no questions about that. Now, the last five weeks, the guys I feel sorry for are the guys been driving the buses for our team. So, you know, on Thursday night, we went to Stratford. Uh, or last week, we went to Ashley Ridge on Thursday, had to turn around and go back on Friday. So they drove for 10 hours. So that, that's been what's tough. And I guess it may be a tough on our kids. We just hadn't talked about it any, though. And, uh, you know, I guess you make a big picture out of it if that's what you speak, what you speak about all the time. But it was nice to be here. I'm sure we probably had a great crowd. Uh, when you get beat, you don't look back because you never see where the rocks are coming from. So, you know, 
hopefully though simply will get things turned around and we got Sox to here two weeks and you know that'll be a great crowd all right well you start region play next week against Devin Granger uh, Cameron Alton um, there's a whole slew Brantley uh, just your overall thoughts about Conway of what you've seen from them so far and kind of what you expect next week well, you know, we've played them several years now in a row, and they've got the threat of scoring from anywhere at any time. And uh, that's always something that's worried us because with the, with Granger at quarterback, he can roll one way, roll back the other way, and throw it 60 yards, and there's one of those big receivers that are ready to catch it. So we've got to end up controlling the football some. We can't give them all those big plays, and hopefully somewhere along the line they'll make some mistakes. And maybe I'll uh, dev- – Daniel Deneen, who's an outstanding kicker for us, will be able to kick a field goal or something to put us on top. All right, Coach A, I appreciate you joining us tonight. Good luck next week as everybody's zero and zero, and this is really when the rubber meets the road. It's all about the next four weeks. Good luck, Coach, and thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. All right, thank you. All right, well, let's continue on.